Welcome everybody to the final surf report of this week. I'm Chris McCleary, looking for the biggest collective influence that might be affecting the way you think, feel, and behave. And if you find yourself under the influence, you'll know exactly what to do. We've got a lot going on and I still don't have my screen set up, but here we go. We're going to start with the astrology and we have a lot going on in the sky. We have Sun conjunct Venus, Venus in retrograde. This is all about relationships, creativity. Um, some people think that you're going to be more social than or sociable than usual. And then other people think that because Venus is in retrograde, that more of the shadow is going to come back, more relationships from the past, more issues from the past. Um, I'm not seeing that. I'm not seeing that in the dream bot. Um, I'm not also not seeing that in the research. The only other thing that might be happening here is that when planets get too close to the sun, this is going to be an exact conjunction, same location in the sky. I mean, uh, just on azimuth. And we call this being burnt. And so basically the best sides of um, the conjunction are negated. So in that case, we have almost too much, too much sociable and uh, too much creativity to where it just becomes overwhelming. Relationships become overwhelming, possibly. Hopefully that that's not what I'm saying is the main influence. I'll get to the rest later. Um, and then we have, uh, well, Mercury is headed towards Jupiter. They're not quite conjunct yet, but we have a opposition from Moon, initially in Taurus, and Jupiter in Scorpio. And so this is all about the same. Opening up, sociable, more relaxed. Now, um, one of the word of cautions is that your emotional boundaries might wobble. In other words, you get so um, relaxed that you just start opening up about everything. And then uh, you get the motherly or the shoulds or the moral crusaders that come in and try to um, I don't know, guilt trip you into saying that you did something wrong or, or whatever. And then that backfires and then you go isolate after that. So hopefully that doesn't happen to you. Now the outlier, the only outlier today is the numerology 26, which is like a sense of urgency. And you can get lost in the weeds in the details and then not realize it, but you've lost your day because you've been busy uh, chasing something that wasn't really relevant to having a successful day. So that's the, um, that's the numerology. Here's the dream bot. Oh my gosh, I did it again. I don't even know how to get back. <laughs> Should I start this video over? Eh, I don't have time. Um, so we have the red arrows are in um, a positive experience, very positive, and they're, okay, let, let me just start over. On the dream bot, the red is very positive experiences. The blue is going to be sociable things. I called it Venus conjunct sun, but as we see, there's other aspects, that opposition with Jupiter. So red is birthday, marijuana, gaming, Gaming again, how many days in a row are we going to see gaming? I mean, this is unprecedented. Now it's gone up again. Um, excellent ball, good dream audio, fill floating. So just good positive experiences, nothing but positive experiences here. Now, of course, I mean, some of these things like marijuana, you can have paranoia. Um, gaming, you can lose the game, you know, ball, same with ball, but the general sense, especially with excellent and good, it's a good positive uh, experience, especially with things like fill and floating. All right. Now the blue arrows, agent, uncle, mother. Now you can see that it's very relationship oriented, but look at these last three brief. Hello, leave. <laughs> so it's kind of just flooding around, kind of uh, just very brief social, but 
but um, but but happy social, positive social experiences. That's the influence today. And now that we have the influence, now I can touch the number four, and then we can talk about how to orchestrate this later. All right. So the influence is social, positive social engagement, all right? And now, what about those who aren't feeling very social today? Maybe you're down in the dumps. Maybe you've got lots of social anxiety. Do you know how many clients I see that has social anxiety? Where is this coming from? Um, I do think that it's multiple factors. A lot of it does have to do with, ironically, marijuana that we saw in the dream bot. Now, be careful. I'm not criticizing marijuana for being bad. Hey, it's neither good nor bad. It's how it's used. And if it's used chronically, you're going to start to see social anxiety rising in yourself. And then you say, well, well, wait, marijuana fixes my anxiety. Well, I'm here to tell you that if you don't have your marijuana, then your anxiety will be even higher the more that you use it. So use it sparingly and only use it in those legal states, hint, hint. But let's get back to the surf report. The surf report um, argues that you're going to have the most fun, the most satisfaction today if you're engaged socially, but in a very light and fun. That's what this picture is. This picture is, um, it's obviously very light. He's just having fun with this statue and fun with the person taking the pictures. Um, so it's light and fun, but in this picture, it, he's not real, obviously. And so what I wanted to suggest to you is that today is not a day for just social media and um, do a couple messenger things and do a couple texts and call it a day. It's actually being with the real people and out and about and, uh, and engaging in the, in the real flesh and blood. That's the social engagement that I think you're going to find the most satisfaction today, particularly for those who were having problems getting out into the social environment. Um, don't escape on substances. Don't escape on substances during your social engagement. So many, so many of us need that extra, or perceive that we need this extra oomph in order to be light and free and fun and real, but we don't. And it's just a perception. It's just habituated into us. Go out, have a sober time and be free and fun and I think you're going to find a lot of creativity. You're going to find a lot of satisfaction. And I think you're going to move on from these old relationships and old uh, situations and, and old baggage. Okay. Um, I don't think there's anything else I needed to say. Comment below if you have any questions. Thank you for your subscribe and shares. And sorry, I was all over the place today. But we'll see you again on Monday. If you want to see the updated DreamBot runs, they're over at National Dream Center. And I do those every single day, even on like holidays and Christmas. I've been doing that for, oh, what, four years now or so. So, but our next surf report will be on Monday. Take care. Have a great weekend, everybody.